um, flagship safety. Um, flagship safety is supposed to be able to um, display all the emergency features on campus. Right now it can display um, roughly all the emergency calls, the big red um, boxes that you see, as well as um, I'm developing it so it can also display all the crown alerts of public safety posts, because currently they get taped on the windows, but there's no real persistence and you can't see trends or any of that kind of uh, useful information. Um, where did we start? Um, fly, uh, it started really back in 08. Um, one of our members, a uh, member of the student senate, decided um, it was late one night and he decided he'd have some fun by running around and hitting all the emergency buttons. And much to his dismay, he found that a lot of them didn't work well. So um, he convinced us to do some more kind of formal testing with them instead of just in the middle of the night. So, um, you know, we, we've collected all this data basically um, over the last three years. And um, the result of it with this, it was a nice, um, I mean, it's nice and it's color coded, but I, I don't know about you, but just reading the um, latitude and longitude coordinates doesn't really give me a sense of where everything is. So um, what I wanted to do is create a tool that will um, A, aid in the collection of all this data so that we don't have to run around with clipboards and write everything down by, by hand. Um, but also I wanted to present this data graphically in a format that, you know, makes it more readable and, you know, you can see on a, basically a Google map that, you know, there, there are polls here and here and click on the polls and figure out what the status of each poll is, whether, you know, whether it works well, whether it doesn't work at all, whether it hasn't been working for a year and a half, um, all that kind of information. So um, currently what I have is this. Um, I started out with the flagship geo which was a project done by Brian Michalski last summer, which is basically a Ruby on Rails um, mapping framework for the most part. Um, so what I've done is I've taken all the call boxes that we have. There are currently 100, and, that one's bogus, but um, there are currently 133 call boxes on campus. And um, so that's obviously a lot of data. Um, and so what I've done is I've gone ahead and plotted them all. And you can see um, most, of, most of them are in, um, on main campus. Um, there are also a collection up at ECAV, down at Polytech, down at Blitman. Um, and then there are a few elsewhere, like over in Waterloo. Um, so um, basically, um, the, the uh, site of GEO allows you to create multiple layers. So um, I'm creating a layer for call boxes. There will also be a layer for crime alerts. Um, in the future, there could be layers for other things like AEDs, the emergency, uh, automated emergency defibrillators um, that are helpful in um, emergency situations. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's intended to present lots of data that the student senate collects about emergency uh, preparedness, I guess, on campus. So um, these are the things that I have to do. A um, uh, big one that I want to be developing now is when you click on a, um, click on a, a point basically on the map, you get the info window, which is a white um, thought bubble that comes up. And I want to develop those more so that they can, so that they um, display relevant um, working status. Um, another thing I want to do is add user management so that multiple people can log in and collect data at the same time so that I'm not the only one writing stuff down in a hurry. Um, along, that, um, along that line, I want to, want to develop uh, mobile support so that we, you know, we all have laptops and lots of us have tablets, but the growing trend is also for all, lots of us to have uh, smartphones. So I want to be able to um, utilize that so that we can, uh, you know, more easily collect information when we're out, you know, running around up at ECAV or what have you. Um, something I'm doing um, currently, um, last week I met with public safety 
And they gave me a nice long list of all 133 call boxes with, you know, at, at <coughs> basically the same thing I was doing, which is going around with the GPS unit and taking coordinates. So it was a nice long list of handwritten coordinates that I spent last weekend um, inputting into a spreadsheet. And um, so now I'm going through and validating all my um, call boxes that I have currently and making sure my list matches up with public safety's list. Um, the other thing I want to develop is um, displaying new types of information. Currently, um, you know, there's a notion of crime alerts in the database, but there's no real data behind that. And um, it's, you know, what I want to do is um, add data, obviously, but I also want to create an RSS tool that will allow it to automatically pull in new crime alerts so that, you know, after the summer, this um, project doesn't go stale, and once we, once we launch it, it can be somewhat, somewhat automated, and, um, you know, that it'll keep up with um, new things happening on campus. So, um, again, I'm Zach Rowe, and this is Flagship Safety. Um, does anybody have any questions? Does public safety will give you all? Will public safety give you all the crime data that you give? Um, the crime data currently is being published in an RSS feed. Um, I have a database that dates from like 07 to 09. Um, that um, coincidentally Brian and Chelsea also created, but um, I have to update that with all the new information. Um, so I'll be working on that. Um, I plan. Uh, the latter half of July, but um, you know, I also want some automated way for Ruby to uh, pull in RSS data and populate my database for me. And also, you want you, you want some kind of a trend, whether there are trends or increasing trends or decreasing. Which part is there is more crime? Right, the ability to, to view uh, crime alerts by semester, say. Um, or, or the neighborhood, like for example, if Beaver Park is uh, is, is a hotbed of uh, right. criminal activity. Yeah, certainly. And, and you know, that's why I think, you know, being able to do things by semester would be most pertinent. Any other questions? Well, thank you. <laughs>